What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And for today's weekend news video, I'm going to be talking about the last batch of brand new cards that will be released in the brand new OCG set premium pack 23. Now I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know if um if uh, as I'm getting getting a new scrunchie because my other one broke, um, I don't really know if uh, if if we're gonna be getting getting any of these cards in a future course set. Odds are odds are we might we might see this in like a set you know similar to to Ghosts from the Past or Dual Overload because I know we've had that before. So I don't know if any of these cards are are gonna be in in any of those like future sets, but. But I can, but I can almost guarantee that that it's very possible that that a lot of these cards could potentially see it see you know see its way into into the competitive meta. And I'm and I'm looking I'm actually looking at some of these and I'm gonna be honest, we might we might see that possible. It's very possible that that some of these could make its way into the meta just because of how crazy they are so hopefully you guys are ready for for this video if you guys are and you guys want to see more 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 weekend news videos in the future make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell follow me on on all my social media links will be in the description below as will the info to my fan mail if you guys want to send fan mail the info will be in in the description as well and make sure you also make sure you guys check out check out the community tab i've been posting quite a bit on there on there as of late so make sure you guys check out check out my posts leave some likes throw in throw in some comments and also speaking of new cards if you guys missed out on yesterday's video i actually did a did an, did an updated sky striker uh sky striker deck profile uh so make sure you guys check it out I do plan to do more deck profiles in 2023. I don't um, know what what new decks I'll I'll be working on, but um, but I am I am hoping to do to do more deck deck profiles in 2023. I know that uh, I know that most of them might be might be up might be updated decks, but. Still, I mean, still, I just want to try and try and do do a little bit more more uh, deck profile videos on the channel. So if you guys, so if there are any deck ideas that you guys wanted me to do a profile on, let me know down in the comments, and I will try to get to get get to them. Um, hopefully, oh, I who knows, who knows. Who knows? Maybe your your selection might get might get onto the channel. But without any further ado, without any, any further ado, by the way, shout 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 outs to Starbucks for the cold brew. Not sponsored. Cold brew is awesome, but they made this one a bit a bit too sweet. Um, anyway, let's get straight into it. As once again, something is caught in my throat. There we go. Anyway, anyway, let's get straight into it. Kicking these off, we got Praying Mantis, which is a four star wind insect, 1500 attack, 1200 defense, and the first and third effects are once per turn. And the first effect reads. During your standby phase, you can special summon one Baby Mantis token, which is a one-star wind insect with 500 attack and defense. So, again, 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 to again, token spam helps you go into a a a link a link Karibo, which actually isn't too bad, but still, it's not it's not bad. It's okay. The second effect reads: Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send one card from your spell trap zone to the grave, return that opponent's monster to the hand. I mean, I mean, it's a compulse, so it's not, it's not too bad. Pretty decent. 
And then the and, and then the and the, the, the third effect reads: You can banish the card from from your grave, while still have one Baby Mantis token. So, I mean, <sighs> I mean, it's not bad. I'm. I think what maybe B Troopers could potentially run run this card. This is probably just 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 a one of only because. Um, only because of the fact that there aren't a whole lot of cards, there aren't a whole lot of insect monsters that can support the B Trooper ar archetype. Like maybe Res I think Resonance in Insects was like one of the biggest ones. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, and possibly this one, but that's about it. I don't really know, but. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Not the best, but still it's not, not too bad. But speaking of insects, we have Guard Mantis, which is a four-star wind insect. A thousand attack, 2400 defense, and both of its effects are once per turn. And the first effect reads, you can pay a thousand life points, a special summon this card from your hand, in defense. And if you do, you cannot special summon monsters while, while you control this monster, except insects. So... Obviously, you're locked. You're only locked locked into into insects. But as long as you, as long as your extra deck pool is com, you know is comprised of all of all insect monsters, eh, you'll be okay. You'll be all right. Um, the second effect reads: during your opponent's turn, which is a quick effect, you can change. You can target one insect monster you control, change its battle position. So it's basically a one-sided zero gravity. But it's it, it it is what it is. I'm 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 gonna be honest. Just looking at these two cards, they suck. I'm just gonna be real. They both suck. Not sure if they'll find its way into the meta, but who knows? But next up, we have Golden Rule, which is an, an equipped spell for the Crystal Beasts, and it reads and it reads: Place two Crystal Beast monsters from your deck face up in, in your spell and trap zone as continuous spells. Then special summon a crystal beast monster from your hand or grave with a different name from those cards. And if you do equip this, equip it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Okay, so this basically just helps helps ensure that you're able to summon, to summon, to summon, uh, uh, uh rainbow dragon, and also ensures that your um that the draw effect of of your um, uh, what you call it? <sighs> Excuse me. Of your um, your ancient city rainbow ruins becomes live because 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 if you have four crystals in in, in your back row with with ancient city rainbow ruins, you're able you're able to draw a card during each turn, which actually is pretty good. So. It acts as sort of like a pot of greed, because greed, you're drawing one card during your, during your normal draw, you know, you know, for your normal draw in your draw phase, and then, and then of course, too, you're drawing an additional card off of, excuse me, off of, um, off of Ancient City's effect, and not only that, but this card can also help, help, help with, um, help with uh, Crystal Boon. Which helps, which which lets you bounce two two of your two of, of your crystals from from your back row into the main mo in you know into into the front lines, and you gain more more life points that more life points that way. So this is actually not too bad. This is more of a two of. Um, if you run three, it's gonna potential. It's gonna be a break. So I will probably put this only at two. Um, just because, just because of, of, just because of the fact that again, if you run three, it's gonna be a brick, and not, and not only that, but, um, but not, but not only that, this can actually also work not just with the with crystal beast, but with the advanced crystal beast as well. So that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Next up, we have protection of the elements, which you guys are wondering. Wait a minute, what, what the hell? Well. It's for the elemental heroes, funny enough, and and it's a counter trap, so you know it's gonna be a a solemn, it's gonna have a solemn judgment like effect. Which you're right, it does, and it and it has two effects. The second effect is a once per turn. The first effect reads when 
When a spell trap is activated, you can banish one face of elemental hero monster you control until the end phase, negate the activation. And if you do, destroy that card. So until so 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 the so the hero monster, so the e hero monster that you that that they banish, it it remains banished until un, until the end phase, which actually is pretty crazy, um, because because you could potentially banish an an air neos, and it comes back come comes back to your board board at, at the end, which is pretty cool. The second effect reads: if you control elemental hero terra firma. You can banish this card from your grave, especially one of your elemental heroes that is banished, or in your hand or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, cards like, um, so what would be a prime example? I would say the mass, I would say the mass heroes, but that really wouldn't work out so well. So I think cards, so cards, so cards such as, um, uh, shiny Neo's, oh, shiny Neo's wingman. Um, wake up your elemental hero. Just to name some of them, are per, are prime examples of cart of of e hero monsters that you can summon. Um, um, that are in your that that are that are in your graveyard. You can you can even also summon summon out cards such as um. What would be what would be a good a good a good example? Um, I know that that this card is a bit of a gimmicky card, but just as a prime, just, just as a random example, Blade Edge would be an, an, another good example. But still, but still, this is basically your your solemn judgment cyber ref system, I guess you could say for 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 the deck, which is actually pretty cool. But speaking of cool, we have a brand new Blackwing monster, and I. I think I'm gonna have to update Blackwings a bit. It is known as Blackwing Sharnga 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 the wanting the wanting moon. I believe is how it's pronounced. Probably have butchered it, but it's okay. It's all right. It's a it, it's a two star wind dark sorry dark winged beast tuner with with 500 attack and defense. And the first effect and and the first effect which is a which is a summon effect is a once per turn the second effect is a once per duel the first effect reads if there if there's a monster with 2000 or more attack on the field you can special summon, you can special summon, special summon this card from your hand so you you guys know when it comes to black wings is the old saying birds birds of a feather flock flock together black wings is is no is no is no stranger to it it's basically a cyber dragon. In fact, I think, I think almost all, all the, all the black wings have a cyber dragon effect, which is pretty nuts. Cause you, cause, cause you can, because you can just, just special summon one black wing, and then keep on, and then keep on special summoning other black wings, and you don't even have to commit to your normal summon, which is pretty nuts. But the second effect is gonna be a bit, is a bit interesting, cause the effect reads. Reads, if you control a black wing synchro, which is a quick effect, you can banish banish this card from your grave, then target one face up card your portal controls and destroy it. I mean it's not too bad. Could be could be a trap hole, could be a could be an an MST. It's not bad. But I would probably put this at one. Just because of just because of, of just because of the fact that just because of, of, of the fact that the second effect is a once per duel, meaning 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 once once you've used up that that effect, it's over. You can't use it again. So I would probably just put probably put this at one, which I might. In which if I do update Black Wings, I'm definitely going to be adding adding this card and just o only putting it in one, just because you really don't want to maximize using card. Using cards that have a once per duel effect, you know, you know whether it was like, you know, cards like Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell, or, or whatever, those are like easily one ofs. And this is this card is no no stranger. Next up, we've got Final Cross, which is a quick play spell, and it's obviously a once per turn. And the effect reads: During your turn, turn if a single monster or monsters was sent to your grave this turn, target one single monster you control. 
It becomes able to make a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Um, then, if you activate this card by targeting a Synchron monster with Warrior, Synchron, and or Sardis in its, in its original name, you can make it gain attack equal to one Synchron monster in your graveyard. So basically, so basically, if you so if you were to target, let's say, let's say Satellite Warrior, and you have let's say Stardust Dragon in in your graveyard, Satellite Warrior's effect, uh, attack would go would go up by twenty five hundred, which could potentially go up to six thousand, depending on um, depending on 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 Satellite Warrior's current attack, because I believe Satellite Warrior's um, let me actually. I can pull it I can pull it out from my binders. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Here we are, Satellite Warrior. So we have so we have Satellite Warrior here. And I I actually want to show off this card. Look how look how off-center the card is. Konami, what the hell are you doing to your cards, man? Come on. Come on. So, 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 if you guys have never heard of Satellite Warriors Effect, it reads, it reads, it reads, if this card is, if this card is, is Synchro Summon, you, you can target cards your opponent controls up to the number of Synchro Monsters in your grave, destroy them, and, and if you do, this card gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed. If this single summon card is destroyed, you can special summon up to three level eight or lower. Excuse me, warrior synchron or Sardis synchron monster with different names from your graveyard. So this basically acts as a as a way to to just break your opponent's whole board. So it's basically it's kind of like a mini Nibiru. So so let's say let's say for for example, you've got let's say four. Four synchros with different names in 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 your graveyard. Let's say that Sat satellite warrior pops those pops those monsters. That's literally four four thousand attack gains. That's fit. That's what sixty five hundred, is it? Yeah, literally, literally, si literally sixty five hundred. And and if you were to target Stardust Dragon in your graveyard, that's an additional twenty five hundred. 9,000 attack. Think think about that. Think about that. This card can basically can basically just ensure you have game. That's insane. That is insane. This card This card I can guarantee you is going to pretend is going to make 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 the Stardust decks 10 times more powerful than ever before. So now I know, now I know Crystal Wing, not Crystal Wing, Crystal Beasts, Advanced Crystal Beasts, Black Wings, and Stardust are are the four decks that I'm, that I'm gonna be updating pretty soon. So make sure you guys make sure you guys stay tuned for those videos. But we do have some brand new spider support. And you guys are wondering, wait, spiders? What the hell? Yeah, apparently we got some new spiders for uh, for uh, Roman Goodwin, and I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, wait a minute, Roman Goodwin? Who the fuck is that? Well, he was he was one of the uh, one of the seven Dark Signers from the Five D's anime, and he played a bunch of spiders. Why? But, well, simple. Because his Earthbound Immortal, which was Uru, is a spider. So, we have, uh, we have, so first up, we have Fissioning Mother Spider. I believe that's how, how I say it. Which is a 5-star Dark Insect, 0 attack, 20, 2400 defense. Or, according, according to, to the card... According to to the card, it's twenty three hundred defense, so I believe it's twenty three hundred. But I could, but for all we know, I could, but for all we know, I could be wrong. I think it's twenty three hundred. But the but the second effect is a once per turn, and the first effect reads: If you control no monsters, you can special you can special special summon 
this card from your hand. It's a Cyber Dragon, and you know it's going to be good. And judging by the effect, by the second effect, I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, apparently it only works with the Seas monsters, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, but... But, the second effect reads, you, reads, you can tribute this card. You cannot special summon monsters from the x check for the rest of the turn except the Xyz monsters. And special summon up to three baby spider from your hand and or deck. And if you do, their levels become five and they cannot be used as material for the Xyz summon except the... For an Xyz summon except... They exceed some of a dark monster. So let's go on Nexus really quickly. And let's have a look. Let's go deck. I'll pick a random one. We will go my Arcana Knight. Which that is that is another deck that I'm gonna have to update at some point. So let's go filter. Monster category exceeds. Attribute Dark Five and let's go results all and such. Let's have a look. So as far as the rank five monsters that are dark that, that you could you could potentially summon, just to name every single one of them actually, you've got Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon. Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, number um, Chaos number 104, Umbral Horror Masquerade, Zexal Women Dragonic Dragonic Halberd, um, Adrius Keeper of Armageddon, which actually is a pretty interesting old which is a pretty interesting old school card, but it's actually pretty good because it it's because it, it's a pop, so it's actually pretty cool. Um, K um, Chaos Xyz Dark Fairy Cheer Girl, number 14. 14 Greedy Sour Maya, uh, Crimson Knight Vampire Bram, Shark Fortress, Outer Entity As a Thought, which is banned, but it's a pretty nasty card. Uh, Triple D Marksman King Tell, uh, Raid Raptor Stranger Falcon, Raid Raptor Blaze Falcon, Insector Exostag, number 53 Hard Earth, uh, Chaos number 80 Requiem in Berserk. No, and number five, Doom Chimera Dragon. So, so this card, so this one card, so Fishing Spider can easily can help can help make can easily help make make number pre, n literally number five any of these any of these, which is pretty insane. That is absolutely insane. I got to admit. Um, I'm actually surprised that a card a card like that can help ensure that you get to get to your end board really quickly. That's actually pretty pretty crazy. But speaking of baby spider, next card up, baby spider. Three star dark insect, zero attack and offense. Both of its effects are are once per turn, and the effect and the first effect reads: You can tribute one dark monster that has a level, increase the levels of each baby spider you currently control by the level of the tributed monster. Had on the field, so if it so if if the monster you tributed is eight, all three of your babies become become eight, and you can easily go into a rank eight right off the bat, which is pretty crazy. Second second effect reads: you can pay half your life points, banish this card from from your grave, and detach one material from from your dark exceeds monster, then target one dark monster in your grave and special summon it. Wait a minute, pay half your life points? Not something you would want to do because obviously because obviously obviously yeah there are there are there are some decks where life points don't become a factor but there are a lot of decks where they do become a factor. So that's a bit of an odd an odd effect, but as but as long as long as you're able to but I think I think honestly I think the only way you could ever use that effect is if you know you have is if you know you have game on board but you but you want to ensure that that you do end up having game on board anyway then then yeah then yeah then yeah you know what you know what the effect is actually not not too bad it can help you go into your link plays you, you know such as your 
such as, you know, such as your your Axis Code Talker can help you banish all, you know, help ban banish banish some some you know some of your Link monsters, break break your opponent's monster board, activate activate Harpy's Feather Duster, get rid of the back row, and you potentially have game right there, which is pretty cool. Now. If you guys remember moment early earlier on in, in the video, I said that I was gonna be updating Crystal Beasts, Advanced Crystal Beasts, Black Wings, and and Stardust and one and one other deck. Well, I lied. That's those those aren't those aren't the only ones. Because I am now gonna be updating DDDs, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking at this one. At, at this DD monster, this is probably going to be the most powerful DD monster I have ever seen in my whole career as a content creator. You've heard of Triple D, but you've never heard of this. Get this, guys. Quadruple D, literally four Ds. That, that's what she said. Anyway, 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 quad. Quadruple D Super Dimensional Sovereign Emperor Zero Paradox. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's safe to say that DDs are going to be extremely powerful. Shoutouts to a really good, a, a really good friend of mine, Shadow Realm, Shadow Realm Yu-Gi-Oh. Sh Shoutouts to him. He loves, he loves this deck. This deck is, trust me, the the deck. Is super powerful. If you guys have have not played it, I recommend you guys play it. I'll be doing an, an update on it potentially in in the next month or so. So make sure you guys uh, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. But it's a 12 star Dark Fiend Pendulum, obviously, with 3,000 attack and defense. Its Pendulum skill is 10. So so for my build, you wouldn't you wouldn't really need. Need a uh, uh, double D savant Newton for your pendulum skills. Skills cause, cause for me, if I do go into my pen into my into my pendulum scale off of the effects of um, of Abyss King Gil Gilgamesh, I would go I I would go Zero King Rage and um, and savant Newton. Now I don't need to. I could just use this because it's a fucking ten. That's fucking that's fucking stupid. So, so the pendulum effect is the once per turn, which reads: you can target one card in your opponent's pendulum zone, special summon this card, and if you do place that card in your pendulum zone, and if you do d do that, destroy during the end phase of, of the next turn. That's actually not not too bad. I mean, as long as you don't commit commit to the pendulum summon, you can actually just pop it, just pop it, and when and when and when your when your turn comes again, if you do hard draw. Uh, Savant Newton, you could just put Newton into, into, into the pen scale, and you're off, off, off to, to, you're off to the races there, which is pretty cool. Now for the uh, monster effect, and it has two separate effects, but it, but, but the first line of text reads: cannot be normal summon or said, must be special summon by its own effect. And you guys are wondering what does that mean? So. So it ba basically means that you can only use it, its effect to summon this card, ba basically, which is pretty, pretty nuts. The first effect reads: When your pendulum summon, sorry, when you pendulum summon a monster or monsters, and the pendulum scales of the cards in your pendulum zone are higher than the total level of the pendulum mo summon monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, destroy as many other cards on the field as possible. Then you can place this card. In your pendulum zone, so I believe, so I believe, so I believe if you if so if I if I'm right on this, if I'm if I'm right on this, if because because the pendulum scale would be would be zero and ten, meaning you could summon monsters with lo lo levels one through nine, I believe you could actually summon summon this card. I, I believe is it. Or actually, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, or actually, no, no. I believe it's higher than than the total. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, um, 
so basically if you so if you were to summon let's say four four monsters that are that are that's let's say let's say two two level fours a level five and a level six let's say that you can summon this card right off the bat from from your hand and then place him in into the back row that's absolutely insane but if you think that was insane check this out check out its second effect Trust me, you're not gonna believe this. Once per turn, if an if another face up triple D monster or monsters you control leaves the field by a spell effect, this card gains six thousand. This card gains six thousand attack. It already has three thousand attack. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make its attack so you can actually have game on board. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that DDs are going to be extremely broken. This is probably going to be one of the most broken decks in in the format. I could definitely see see the deck taking over the meta like it did when when the deck was first announced. Yeah, it's it's just insane. It is absolutely insane. I can oh my god. Guys, get ready for some brand new, some brand new updated decks. Trust me, guys, you are not gonna believe it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. Trust me, guys. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I got some shit brewing tonight. I got some shit brewing today. But, but now the final card for this video it is known as Additional Mirror Level Seven, which is a quick play spell, and it said, and the effect reads. Reads if, if, a, if a level seven monster or a monster is a special summon to your field, send two additional mirror level seven from your hand and or deck to the grave. Target one of those monsters. You can only special summon from the extra deck once for for the rest of the turn after this card resolves. Also special summon two monsters with that name with that name from your deck. Then take damage equal to the total original attack on the monster summoned by this effect. Dark Magician, Red Eyes. Yeah, this card is gonna be pretty nuts. I think I think Dark I think you can use this use this card in Dark Magician and Red Eyes. But again, you would need to have at least you would literally need to run a three of with this card. So that's not too bad. But all in all, um looking at all these new cards, yeah, I'm def I got a lot of work to do, so even on Christmas Day, I still have a lot of work to do. So hopefully you guys are ready for for those for those deck profiles. It's gonna be insane. But that brings me that brings me to the question of the day, which is this. I probably brought this up in 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 a previous post on on the community tab. But what decks do you guys believe will take over the meta in 2023? Let me know down in the comments below, and that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more weekend news videos in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on all my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out, and happy holidays, everybody.